Mr. Uh, Mr. Khan, I just would like to ask uh, about our uh, it's, it's a new product which you have been launched today uh, for Islamic deposit, and this in, uh, you have inaugurated. It. Uh, could you please, you know, explain that uh, what are the features uh, of the product and how can uh, these Islamic community, particularly Pakistani you know, community, would be benefited with these products? You know? Okay, it's a Mudarba-based product. It's uh, approved by a Sharia board. A Sharia board which is headed by Mufti Barkatullah. Mufti Barkatullah is a very well-renowned scholar and Mufti uh, in UK. Uh, this product offers uh, a deposit product. It is basically without any riba or interest. We share, it's a profit and, uh, and loss sharing uh, product. But as a matter of fact, what we have really done that, uh, that in, in this product, the capital is really guaranteed. So if, in case of any loss, the bank will really bear it. And in case of any profit, it will be shared between us and the customer. The products available uh, in this product are mainly uh, a 90-day uh, uh, deposit, a 90-day notice deposit. Uh, we have six months and 12 months fixed deposits. These are the products, and, and I'm really confident that the market we really have in UK, which is consisting of uh, more than 2.4 million Muslims around the UK, will be able to benefit from this product. Great. Uh, sir, uh, during the, uh, your press conference, you have mentioned that UNB is a you know, pioneer of launching Islamic Ijara finance product. Would you please kindly explain that what, you know, uh, what was this product and how uh, you are successful in launching this product uh, as it? United National Bank has the honor of launching the first mortgage Ijara product uh, a few years ago. Uh, I think we were the first bank to launch that thing. Now, with the, uh, with the launch of Islamic deposit, what we will really be doing, that the, that the deposits or the funds generated out of this Islamic deposits, they will be deployed in uh, Ijara product. And I'm very confident that across the UK, the, you know, the Muslims uh, uh, population living in UK will be able to, to take advantage of these two products available to them. Uh, Mr. Khan, uh, would you like to please explain uh, and uh, highlight your future plans uh, while you know you have been taking over the charge of this you know esteemed bank here in UK, uh, like a chief executive officer? And you have, you have, although you have already you know mentioned some of your uh, future plan, but I would like to uh, request you if you can highlight the future plans for UNB uh, for the year for 2010 and onward, please. Yeah, I think. Uh, uh, what we really want or what we really aspire to do is basically to, to convert United National Bank into a modern bank. In 2010, we will be investing a lot in technology. We will be bringing, uh, we will be bringing uh, a few technology-based products. We will uh, rather, we, uh, we plan to, to introduce internet banking or online banking by the end of this year. We plan to upgrade our core banking solution. We plan to introduce a debit card. We plan to introduce very shortly, uh, probably in, in February, uh, the, the web-based uh, remittance uh, a solution, whereas people can really remit uh, uh, funds to Pakistan and other countries from their own place, from their own PC or, or laptop, whatever they really have. And, and we are restructuring the whole branch network, you know, making it the more sales-oriented, the market-oriented branches, you know. Uh, we are introducing the relationship management concept in the branches. So, inshallah, 2010, we'll see, uh, uh, it's going to be a very defining year for United National Bank, and inshallah, we'll be introducing all these products. Thank you. Thank you very much, Mr. Swan. Thank you. Thank you.